Hello, it's me again. It's hot right now, like really warm. It's even warmer when you have to close all the windows to shut out the noise when you're recording a video. It's okay though because I've hired an intern whose sole job it is to mop my brow when it gets too hot. That doesn't look like somebody else's arm at all, does it? Never mind. If you're not as fortunate as me to have an intern whose sole job is to mop your brow when it gets too hot, then fear not. For as always, I'm here to help. No, I, I don't mean that I'm coming around to mop your brow. With the viewing figures that I get, that would take all of five minutes. No, what I mean is that I've thought of some ways for you to cope with the heat this summer. You are very welcome. Oh, and before I forget, I am obviously a Brit, so some of these suggestions may have a slightly British skew to them. I mean, it's probably not particularly noticeable, but just in case. Do I need to do all that beginning bit again because the lighting has now changed? I mean, I probably should. I'm not going to. <laughs> Comment frequently on how absurdly hot it is, presumably in case others have failed to notice the sweltering temperatures. Complain about how hot it is. Say things like, well, it won't last. This will be it for summer. Make radical clothing decisions, like rolling your sleeves up. Barbecue everything. Just all day, anything that you're going to eat, barbecue. Ask your colleagues whether they mind you switching the fan on. Of course, no one minds you switching the fan on. It's friggin' hot in here. If you don't work, just lie still and wait for it to go away. Except the public transport is going to be even more unpleasant than usual. As if that's not fair, I normally like the bus. But whoever decided that the heater that runs all the way down one side should be on in all weathers was an idiot. Excuse my language. Alternatively, avoid public transport entirely. Get on the tube with hundreds of irritable, sweaty strangers who are all taller than you, so you're almost guaranteed to have your face in an armpit for half an hour, or walk the six miles home. That still makes you get pretty hot, by the way. That was a bit of an oversight on my part. Take a shower to feel refreshed. You'll probably need to repeat as soon as you dry, because have you noticed how hot it is at the moment? The freezer aisle is your friend stay there as long as possible. And if none of the above works for you, then just embrace the hot weather and get the pims out. Nothing bad can ever happen when you get the pims out. Last night though, I was on Falling Down Juice's sister spirit, Sicky Sicky Vom Vom Squash. Hi again, my name's Rebecca and I post a new video every Wednesday. I'm actually gonna film another video right now, but I need to open a window before I melt into a puddle. Where's that intern gone? Thank you so much for watching. I will be back next week. In the meantime, please remember to work hard, laugh harder, and always accept a hug. And in this weather, drink lots of water. Bye.